Hotel Monterey was my stay in Sendai City. During my third day adventure, I had an awesome back alley bar hopping experience. Since I finished late at night, checking into this hotel was very accessible and convenient. It is located at the heart of the city and was just a walk away to everything. Hi everybody! So. This is my fourth day exploring Tohoku region. Right now, I'm so excited because I am here at Mount Zao. I'm going to trek this mountain. So this is one of my uh, best itinerary <laughs> during my uh, exploration here at uh, Tohoku region. So look at my view, guys. Like, it's so, so pretty. This is my first time um, trekking a mountain here in Japan. It's really overwhelming. I'm so excited to do things here. But before anything else, I have to go to the restroom. So at first, I have to pay fee before I take the chairlift, of course. Before we ride the chairlift, they have this little store here where you can buy a ticket so here you can purchase your ticket for chairlift and that's the chairlift over there oh my goodness I'm so excited it's my first time guys so let's go so this is what it looks like this is my ticket Where's Yay! <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> um, this mountain is very popular for skiing, and during summer, this is popular for mountain trekking. So you can either use the chairlift or you can either climb by yourself. Look at my view right now. Look how cool is that. Okay, I reached the top. That was kind of fun yet a little bit scary experience, but I definitely I want to do it again. Wow. It's so refreshing. So slowly it's getting colder up here. And right now here's a map. This is the Zhao Kwasi National Park. I was here. We tried the lift and now I'm here. So let's go. <laughs> Just amazing. Once you climb here, 
you can see this sign it says sometimes a bear will come here or up here so we have to take care uh, generally it's safe here um, there are many people uh, climbing this area and I think it's not so dangerous at all <laughs> You heard the bell, right? So people who are climbing on top of this mountain should should have that kind of bell. Um, that's a sign for the bears to, you know, go away. Or it's a sign that humans are passing by. When the bears hear that, they evade the, the track. Yes, it's not the humans who adjust for the bear. <laughs> but the bears adjust for the humans if they hear that bells they evade the humans so <laughs> right now i forgot to do that but it's a rare case generally it's safe here i have to stop and take this <gasps> i'm here <laughs> i am oh my goodness this is unbelievable look at the view that i have in front That's Mount Zhao's crater. It's so beautiful. I'm speechless, actually. The color right now is like emerald green. They said that the lake's color will uh, change gradually. Uh, it depends on the temperature. So in front of me, there's a, a patch of snow left. It's summer here, but because it's cold uphill, that's the reason why some snow patches are here. As I'm walking here, there's a lot of dragonflies flying. This should be one of your bucket list here in Tokyo region. staying here and looking at the view I saw some group of families bringing their children here okay now I'm going to my next destination I still have more activities today and that's the reason why I'm so excited for today as much as I want to stay more here but I still have more wonderful uh, activities ahead so definitely 
next time I want to go I want to come back with my family uh, there are two ways to go back either you can take the same chairlift or you can go back by car I'm going back by car so if you have cars it's easy for you to come here climb up here it's very convenient it's not tiring at all kids can come here anytime I can see many families bringing their small kids here even small kids can come here here by car actually to reach the crater so many families are coming here by car and a lot of tourists are coming here by bus but I personally chose the chairlift because it's kind of adventurous for me so if you want to do that you can do that as well so yeah this is how it looks like this is the typical car park so there are many visitors today. Yeah. Famished from all the climbings and stuff. I am here now at Zalbu Brothers. This place is very popular for families. Kids love this uh, Zalbu Burger, and Bu means uh, pork. <laughs> <laughs> so right now I'm having my iced coffee It's so cozy here Like after eating that burger I feel sleepy That's why I'm having this iced coffee By the way, um, this is an old town and this old town here has many onsen or ryokan. Okay, so if you wanna climb Mount Zhao and if you wanna take a rest and stay for a while, you can find many ryokan around here. You can stay here. And this Zhao Bu Burger is one of the famous places that tourists go to and they serve the best burger here in this area another trivia is that the pork that they use are originally produced here and also they call it as japan x pork meat <laughs> interesting right uh, i'm wondering why it's called japan x but it's catchy <laughs> if you want to come here i recommend you to take a bite here at zao bu burger I am now at Fox Village. It's a huge King Kong. It's, it looks like King Kong. This is so cool. <laughs> So you can't stop and squat because they will bite you if you squat and stop. <laughs> mm. 
this is awesome. It's my first time to really see a real fox. So the staff earlier said that foxes have shorter hair during summer, but on winter they will grow longer hair. Of course, we can't go out in a tour without visiting the souvenir shops. Um, I think I'll take this one. I'm going back home and I'm here at Sendai Station. Yeah, this is it. Going back home. I am now in line waiting for my Shinkansen here. I'm gonna miss this place, but definitely I will be back. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching this video. And to all of you out there who watched all of my travel videos in Tohoku. Thank you for being with me in this journey. It was a bliss and unforgettable one. I hope that I was able to show you a beautiful glimpse of Tohoku region here in Japan. I hope that someday you'll visit this place and appreciate it as much as I did. See you again on my next vlogs. Thank you so much. Bye.